Okay, so um, I get asked a lot on, you know, questions on why I like to use the iPad to sketch on instead of paper, and so I just thought I'd make a quick little video to show um, why I like to do that. So I'm using the brushes program right here. So I'm just going to go in there and I came into some of my sketches. Um, okay, so here's a sketch that I did right here, and I, I hope you can see this. I'm going to go in here. Um, and this I did with my finger. When I first started, I bought a Targus stylus, T-A-R-G-U-S, I believe, and um, it worked fine. I, I researched several styluses, styluses, and people seem to like that one on YouTube, so I ended up, ended up getting that one. But the main um, complaint that people have, or that I was reading about, is that instead of going to a tip like you might have with your Wacom stab or stylus where you can actually see what you're doing when you're drawing unfortunately because you need to make electrical contact with a, um, an iPad tablet you can't use or they haven't so far come up with a stylus that I'm aware of that has a, a sharp point so they all have kind of a bulbousy point more like the more, more like the eraser side and what happens when you start drawing, I mean, imagine drawing with an eraser is uh, on paper, you know, or something that thick is you really can't see where the where the the tip is. And so that was always kind of a problem. And so uh, that bugged me right from the beginning. But what happened, what I found happened was over time, I kind of overcame that and it just started to feel natural. And part of the part of the reason it does is because, the fact that you can just zoom in to your sketch. This is actually uh, one of the scenes in on the Monster app that I'm working on right now. And uh, you know, I'm not drawing. I'm not drawing this thing with my finger at this size. I'm more drawing and perfecting lines at this size. And that's that's the biggest difference right there. So let me show you a couple of things, a couple of reasons why I like this better. So I'm going to go back out to my gallery and I'm gonna come here and let me just I'm gonna throw this away and get a new okay so I have a new um, document and what I do is um, well let's just say let's say you're drawing um, let's say you're drawing a bicycle you know and you're you're drawing along and geez I hope you can see that I'm looking through the camera here and it doesn't look very dark Let's say you're drawing along and you draw your, your back wheel and you like it and you start drawing the, the tubes of the bike and you get to the fork and you, you run out of space to put the, the front tire in. You know, and this happens a lot in a sketchbook. So, you know, you can see here, there's my paper that I have to work with and I've run out. And that, that used to happen to me all the time in my sketchbook and it was really annoying because I would have to take this sketch and you know pretend this is a sketchbook and scan it in to the computer into Photoshop with my scanner and then resize it and move the sketch more to the middle maybe reduce it and then print it out on the printer and then keep on drawing well that's what you can do right here and that's why I love this so much uh, you just go into the layers and here's the bicycle layer right there and you again this is in the brushes program I don't I don't know if you can do this in other drawing programs I've really just kind of found this program that really works for me but you hit this little plus sign kind of a thing and then you can just basically take your sketch or your image and move it over you can resize it you know you can rotate it um, and you know if your fingers slip off it's fine it, you know, you can just pick up where you left off. But I mean, that is, to me, that is so powerful. Hit accept. And then finish your drawing. It saves a ton of time, you know. Um, anyway, so that's that's basically it right there. If it, if it couldn't do that, if I, you know, 
if I didn't have a program that could do that, I probably wouldn't be sketching on the iPad. But that alone right there is the reason for it. So I just slobbered on my screen right there. Okay, so um, let me show you how I draw just a little bit. So let's say, um, let's see, let's go back out and we'll go back over to this scene. And let's say that I want to put an inner tube in the water here, okay? Um, well, at this size, you know, if you were, if this, this is about a, the size of a piece of paper right here, maybe it's a little smaller, but drawing an inner tube, a little inner tube, would be really hard in your sketchbook at that size, but it would be even more difficult with this as your drawing device right here. But I'm going to show you how I can do that and how I basically did all this back here. So I'm just going to get another layer so that if I mess up, I'm not messing up the drawing underneath. And I'm constantly just flattening down to the other layer. But basically, I'll just I'll just come here and I'll draw light. I'm just going to get I'm going to make the uh, the drawing lighter. And for some reason, that's not drawing. Let me just make sure I have the right brush. Yes, yes. Um, okay, sometimes I do something stupid. Oh, I know why, because those are layers that I used for something else that I've turned off. Whoops. Let's just get a new layer right there, and I'll just put it on that. Okay, so here, this is going to be my inner tube. And let's say it's a not just a black inner tube, but it's got, like, some designs to it. So now I'm just going to draw the, the center ellipse there, okay? And you can see... That's the size of maybe a, a large inner tube that might be in a swimming pool. Again, if I don't like the size of that, I can go in and resize that one little object there. You know, so I can have a lot of control that way. Maybe I'll just make it a little smaller. Hit accept. Okay. And then we're just going to go on. Now I like the shape of it, but now I want to really perfect those lines. And so... Um, I'm going to go ahead and make it a little darker. And then I'm just going to come in here. And I'm standing up, so I don't really have... So Somebody um, on the blog left, and I apologize for not having your name in front of me right now, but I, I appreciated the comment. There, I'm spitting on the screen again. Um, the fact that, you know, do I use a glove or anything like that, and you can see that I'm not. I've learned to kind of just keep my hand from from touching the screen. And let's say that it's got some some decoration on there, you know. Um, and, you know, maybe these are shaded or something like that. I probably didn't. I didn't. I didn't put enough. So I'm going to run out. So let's Let's say this is good, this is a good exercise because now I can show correcting. So let's say that we're going to need to put one here, here, and make that space a little wider. And this has turned out to be a disaster, but that's okay. Okay, so then we'll just kind of shade those like that. And then I just, if I need to really perfect things, and it'll get, it'll look pixelated, but that's okay because when you zoom out, it's going to be fine. And I don't like that line, so I undo. You know? And then, just through reinforcing my drawing on here, I can... pretty much make it work. So that when I zoom out, I have an inner tube there. And that's pretty rough, but you can get the idea. And again, if I need to, if I need to make that inner tube bigger or smaller, I can. You know, I can change the rotation of it. You know, I could put it out here on the side of the pool. Um, working like this is a dream come true for me because now I can basically work up a whole sketch in on the iPad. Um, there are times where I'll either run out of layers or, you know, I need to get an asset or something from another sketch. Um, and it, I have to email it 
to myself on the iPad so I'll just email it from my other computer I am on an iPad 2 and uh, but brushes works great on um, uh, it works great on an iPad 1 um, I will say that the reason that I got the iPad 2 was because it allows me to connect to a projector when I do presentations at schools and um, at, and at where I teach at the university it's really handy for that um, I'll just see if I can find something else here's a I don't want to use that one let's see maybe this one here you can do the playback oh this, one, this one's no good because I did some other sketching on there it'll remember everything that you did so these are these are these ones are way too complicated but um, Anyway, this is the the little gallery, and this is like the the app that I'm working on right now. I'm just gonna try to find one that's simpler. Um, not that one. Maybe something like this. You can maybe see. No, that not that was another sketch too. I kind of. What about this one? No, uh, there we go. You can see how rough it is, and how I'm just really refining. Um, anyway, that one kind of played pretty quickly, but um, uh, I don't remember what this one looks like. This has this really neat playback feature. Sometimes I'll do thumbnails, thumbnail sketching, and then you know try to find something that works. And here I was just kind of doodling around, trying to figure out something to do for class, and nothing was really working out. And anyway. You can kind of see that process, but it, it, in the beginning, my sketches look very, very primitive. And here, I'm going to refine this one here, and it just, you know, I enlarge it, and it just kind of goes through a system of refinement. And uh, I don't know. Over time, it just has worked. You know, I, I, the stylus broke. I didn't want to go buy a new one. I figured I always have this with me, and uh, so I just, you know, it works for me now and I don't, I mean, I just love working this way, and, you know, I don't, I think I was, I was actually kind of forcing it for the first, oh, couple, two or three weeks, but about the fourth or fifth week, it really just started to click, and I just knew that I wasn't going to go back, I think, so, so this sketch I did completely with my finger, all these, this, that was the, that's done with my finger, that one, that one, um, all these are with my finger. This is my stylus broke doing this sketch here, and this was the first one that I did with my finger. And you know, just just by being able to zoom in on it and really get in there and fix shapes, you know, is is uh, the reason that it lets you do that. You know, so here I am. I'll just play this one really quick. And this is probably overkill on this video, but. I guess I flipped it around at the end, so but just through constant little refinements, you know, you can you can get fine lines and uh when you zoom in you can see where you're where you're hitting with your finger and I don't know, it works for me, it's not gonna work for everybody, but there you go.